A family tragedy shines a spotlight on a religion facing growing scrutiny. Little did I know how the Church of Scientology would destroy my family, turn my son against me, let his body die in the morgue, deny me a last look. Little did I dream. Karen de la Carrier says when she left the Church of Scientology, the church forced her son Alexander Jens to cut off ties with her. To deny me one last look. For 15 seconds, I begged of the funeral director. I said, eyes only, I won't tell the media. Let me have just 15 private seconds with my son. She's seen in this video having her own memorial for her son. De La Carrier left the church two years ago. She was married to Heber Jens, the president of the Church of Scientology. Former members say Jens fell out of favor with the church leader and hasn't been seen since 2004. Those we spoke to say he's in a place referred to as the hole. That place was really turned into a, 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 an actual lockdown prison. Steve Hall worked at the church's international headquarters alongside church leader David Miscavige. I decided to leave in December of 2003 uh, after being assaulted and battered by David Miscavige and also witnessing him um, physically uh, beating his staff, um, among other criminal actions. He was brutal. He hit people every day, and people were electrified. According to some former members, they were physically forbidden to leave church grounds. So there's a fence going all the way around the property with razor wire, so you can't climb over. And if you do, there are motion sensors and security lights that come on. These are all allegations the church vehemently denies. When asked about the untimely death of Alexander Jens, they declined to be interviewed, but told RT in a letter, quote, Miss De La Carrier chose to leave the church voluntarily. She became an apostate. For two or more years, she has been part of a small group of anti-Scientologists who methodically generate false and disparaging statements about the Church of Scientology. The allegation that the church prohibited Miss De La Carrier from contacting Alex is false. Any decision which Alex made not to communicate with his mother was made by Alex, not the church. The church has come under the spotlight after the high-profile divorce between practicing Scientologists Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes. It's rumored Holmes wanted out of the marriage in part to get her and her daughter away from Scientology. Cruise is seen in this video making bold and bewildering claims about the religion. Being a Scientologist, when you drive past an accident, it's not like anyone else. As you drive past, you know you have to do something about it because you know you're the only one that can really help. Cruz isn't the only celebrity in the church. In fact, there's a Scientology celebrity center that caters to them in Los Angeles. Here's Heber Jens mingling with John Travolta. Tom Cruise and John Travolta were treated like royalty, like Saudi kings. They never saw the darker side. They were pampered. Some have fought to expose the alleged wrongdoings within the church. The hacktivist group Anonymous launched this protest video back in 2008. Anonymous has therefore decided that your organization should be destroyed for the good of your followers, for the good of mankind. Despite the controversy surrounding the church, its website boasts the religion is growing faster today than any other time in history and welcomes 4.4 million new people each year, something former church members find hard to believe. We are Scientologists who are speaking out because people are being harmed. The Church of Scientology has blood on its hands. Former members turned whistleblowers in the Church of Scientology say there's recently been an exodus of people out of the church. They say more people are choosing to practice independently. They say they still believe in the philosophy of Scientology, just not in the institution or the way that it's run. In fact, the U.S. is just one of a handful of countries that fully recognizes the Church of Scientology. Other countries don't recognize it at all, or countries like France and Chile consider it to be a cult. In Washington, Liz Wall, RT.